Struggling with grainy, noisy photos? What if I told you there's an easy way to get cleaner, sharper images? Today, we're gonna learn all about the ISO setting on your camera and how we'll use that setting to transform your grainy shots like this to crystal clear shots like this. ISO refers to the sensitivity of your camera's sensor to light. It's one of the three elements that determine the exposure of an image or video, along with aperture and shutter speed. Originally, ISO referred to the sensitivity of a film stock, but in the digital age, the ISO value is a representation of your camera sensor's sensitivity to light. The higher the value, the higher the sensitivity, and the brighter your exposure. ISO plays a very crucial role in achieving the correct exposure for an image or video. When capturing a scene, photographers and videographers must balance the ISO with the aperture, which controls the amount of light entering the camera through the lens, and the shutter speed, which controls the duration of light exposure. So why is ISO the key to fixing your grainy shots? Well, if you haven't noticed, 99% of the time you have a grainy photo or video, it's usually because you're shooting in a low light situation. And don't be fooled, low light could even mean just recording a video in your living room without adequate natural lighting or bright video lights. And in these low light situations, one of the easiest ways to brighten your image is to increase your camera sensitivity to light to brighten your shot. If you're taking photos or recording videos in an automatic mode or an auto mode, this is likely what the camera is doing on its own. But what you might not realize is that there's a trade-off. When you increase ISO, you're also introducing noise or graininess. Take a look at this example. The first photo is taken at ISO 100. The second photo is taken at ISO 8000. If you look closely at these photos, you'll see that by increasing the camera sensitivity to brightness, it's also introducing a lot of digital noise. Here, if you look at this example where I just take two photos with the same settings but with the lens cap on, you can really see just how much this affects your image. And this is how all digital cameras work, whether it's a brand new digital camera, your oldest smartphone camera, or even your webcam. So how do we fix this issue? Well, first we shoot as close to the base ISO for your camera. You can usually find this information either online or through experimentation, but most cameras base ISO is the lowest ISO you can shoot with. In my case, you can actually go under ISO 100, but those are shown with an underline indicating that this is actually going under the base ISO for the camera. All right, cool. Now we reduce our settings to the base ISO, but the image is too dark. Now what? The next step is to then adjust your aperture and shutter speed to bring your exposure back to a proper brightness level. But even then, that might not always be enough, especially if you can't decrease the shutter speed any further and you've already opened your aperture as wide as you can, which comes full circle. That's why your camera or even you pump up your ISO when shooting. It's because it's the easiest way to increase exposure and the only option left. But now we know better. We know that doing this makes your image noisy and ugly. So how do we deal with a low light situation? We add lights. This is why when photographers and videographers shoot either in studios or on set, they use bright lights. Having control of the lighting isn't just a creative thing. Yes, you can control how the lighting hits your subject and scene, but also equally importantly, you want to have enough light to make sure that you're getting clean and sharp images and not losing all of that fantastic detail due to the noise. Hey, before our final tip, if you're enjoying this video on how to fix grainy images, I would love it if you subscribe to this channel. Every Tuesday, there will be a new episode of Technique Tuesdays with more helpful tips on how to improve your photography and videography, so don't miss out. All right, so our final tip is that if you've already gotten that sweet shot and you can't go back and reshoot it, there's one last option to fix your grainy photos or videos. For photos, you can use your photo editing program like Lightroom and use the noise reduction settings to artificially decrease the noise and make the image look clean. But in the process, you'll lose some detail as the program surgically blurs parts of the image. You can add some of that perceived detail and sharpness back using the sharpening panel. You can do something very similar for videos, but typically you'll have to find a good denoising plugin to reduce the noise, which typically aren't free, and then use an effect like unsharp mask to add detail back. But fixing in a post-production still means you never get to capture all of the original detail, and it'll always be better to simply get the shot correctly in the first place with proper lighting and proper settings. And now you understand the reason why your images are grainy. Maybe let's take a look at why your images are blurry. If you want to learn more about that, check out last week's episode. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.